everyone welcome to this very special series it's a tribute to the financial leadership award 2011 the final word in money a special initiative by bloomberg utv a pioneering initiative essentially to basically acknowledge the work of various uh, asset classes and sectors of the indian financial community and today our focus is on the indian broking sector and with me are two very very distinguished uh, personalities of the indian broking fraternity who will be along with me deciding on where is uh, the road ahead for the indian broking industry with me is mr nirmal jain chairman of iifl and also mr ramdeo agarwal who's the co-founder of motilal oswal and director of motilal oswal and together with the panel we will set the agenda for the indian broking industry for the next decade thank you gentlemen for joining me here we've seen a lot of consistent growth i mean you know we talk about uh, the broking industry so to say the number of people have definitely gone up over the years but there is still a very long way to go sir may i get your thoughts into you know how far have we come and really where all we do we need to go yeah i'll just briefly uh, answer your question i think we have come a long way uh, from the introduction of screen based trading by nsc in 1994 or so uh, i think in last 15 years we have seen revolutionary changes uh, and retail participation has definitely increased although stock broking or stock market in india is very old i mean there's at least 130 <coughs> 40 years old and equity cult has been there in india for a very long time but at least in 70s 80s and not till early 90s uh, broking was uh, sort of you know, there was a bse club uh, and many practices were not transparent i think three four things that happened have changed the broking industry radically Uh, one is uh, the counterparty risk has been taken away by national clearing corporation mm -hmm. secondly the demat now more or less almost 100% of volumes are uh, dematerialized and also the technology the internet based trading ctcl by exchanges they reduce the cost of tra uh, transaction for retail investor they have made the availability of broking in you know nook and corner of the country which was not the case earlier and on top of that indian corporates also have performed well and i think but even today the equity ownership of indian household is just about 4% mm -hmm. compared that to other developed countries more than 50% mm -hmm. so whether by way of mutual funds or directly i think we will see continued growth in uh, equity uh, investing by retail investors and therefore brokerages although one can argue that institutional share will increase uh, but given the context in which india operates and the kind of historical background that we have uh i am very sure that even retail participation will increase significantly and if our economy has to grow at 8 and 1/2 9% per annum which is in real terms which is nominal growth of 13 to 14% in such stage of economic development as we have seen with most other countries financial services grows at a faster pace mm -hmm. and within financial services i think equities will also uh, be the key asset class here in indian context so i am very optimistic on longer term future but we, these markets being volatile on a quarter to quarter basis very difficult to predict the you know, the changes but point to point say you see today and what we'll see 5 years later or 10 years later markets would have multiplied many times uh, mr agarwal if i you know bring couple of things in point you know we discuss about number of people the if you look at the coverage of business or the market so to say across various medium media platforms that is one indication of so, uh, showing that how lot of people are coming into the gamut of the indian financial industry or the indian equity market but you know what really is the role of brokerage in spreading onto the retail base that we have right now as mr jain rightly pointed out the percentage is still very low, very low. what are the ways that you know the brokerages will have to come forward in terms of first of course i think financial education is something that all of us collectively have to do but sure. if you could point out some yeah one of the <clears throat> in uh, this decade in last 10 years one of the thing which has happened is that introduction of uh, futures and option mm -hmm. which was not there mm -hmm. and that has uh, changed the complexity of the market dramatically if you look back in last 7 8 years it was broadly a cash market i mean uh, by 2000 to 3 we were doing about trading of uh, about 2 to 3000 crores per day and now we are talking about 2 lakh crores per day in okay. terms of gross value so it's a dramatic shift of 100 times in uh, uh, last 10 years and uh, so the markets have expanded big time and now it has become much more deeper and it's looking much more international in character uh, as far as uh, uh, growth of the market and uh, reach of the you know uh, masses are concerned a uh, lot of things have to happen uh, from the broking side in terms of uh, 
वन थिंग इज दैट ब्रोकर इन इंडिया स्टिल आर वेरी स्मॉल पर से इन टर्म्स ऑफ साइज एंड दैट इज बिकॉज ऑफ द वेरी नेचर ऑफ फ्रेगमेंटेशन विच वी हैड राइट फ्रॉम बिगनिंग बिकॉज वी हैड अबाउट फाइव हंड्रेड ब्रोकर इन बी एस सी देन फाइव हंड्रेड सेवन हंड्रेड केम इन एन एस सी सो वी हैड टू मेनी प्लेयर्स एंड स्टिल देर टू मेनी प्लेयर्स एंड देर इज नो एंट्री बैरियर्स फॉर एनी बडी टू स्टार्ट इवन नाउ सो सो द एवरेज साइज ऑफ द ब्रोकर एंड देर बैलेंस शीट साइज इज मच स्मॉलर नाउ द कैपिटल मार्केट हैज टू बेसिक रोल वन इज to raise money for the corporates so that the industrialization and whatever uh, uh, corporate activity has to take place for that money to be raised and second is channeling the savings of the uh, uh, masses you know mm -hmm. so these two are uh, 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 these two come together in the marketplace and broker's role is to uh, provide liquidity and accounting uh, base to the investors at large and uh, of course uh, do the education so that uh, inform investor keep coming so i think uh, this this process has been a gathering momentum and as the consolidation happens in uh, in the years to come and brokers become slightly better capitalized i mean mm -hmm. today uh, mutual house for securities or ifl i mean these companies have uh, at least they are talking about uh, 200 300 million dollars of capitalization but i think uh, uh, the security houses if you look at uh, how the security houses have evolved in us where uh, at the peak i mean at least 3 4 of them would be in top 100 us corporations mm -hmm. you know even today the ones who, who survived they would be in top 50 60 corporations mm -hmm. so that kind of positioning is yet to happen mm -hmm. so once uh, and that thing is happening i mean the, the the top five brokerage houses eventually will become very large mm -hmm. their balance sheets will become bigger so they will have more resources to reach the masses in terms of distribution in terms of brand equity and now technology has become very very powerful oh, so yes. these things will happen as the uh, brokers will have more resources mm -hmm. you know and consolidation starts happening mm -hmm. so my sense is that uh, 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 in terms of research in terms of branding in terms of advertising in terms of building distribution you know i mean uh, in 2000 2002 we had only 10 offices mm -hmm. and today we have 1500 uh, locations mm -hmm. so outlets so you know that can multiply big time mm -hmm. so you are once the distribution reach uh, is there and thanks to media you are able to reach to the people educate them and it market has become very safe mm -hmm. so i think uh, that's how it will keep going on okay